Um, so the preferred applications, we actually went over that in an earlier video um, back at the welcome screen section because that's um, one of the things that uh, sort of tangented into uh, talking about the preferred applications a little bit, but I'll just briefly click back in there to remind folks um, this is just where you set your applications that you want to, to perform certain functions on your system. So uh, when you want to go uh, online, you can, you know, by default it's Firefox. If you want to open, you know, uh, a document, it's LibreOffice Writer. You know, you want to watch and reset. This is what we changed before with the music and the videos. Uh, change those to be a VLC media player by default instead of Celluloid or um, Rhythmbox or whatever the other ones were. And then you can also change the default behavior for when removable media is inserted. So, uh, But we did go over that in a previous video, so I won't go too uh, in-depth there again. Uh, so the privacy settings is the next one. It says, uh, so you can toggle off, remember, recently accessed files. So that was uh, this section here. If you remember in another video, I briefly touched on it, but this recent files section, um, it goes through uh, files and folders and things like that that you've recently pulled up and you can do this clear list if you ever want to clear this out um, but if you don't want this on here at all you can just uh, uncheck this box and it will not remember recently accessed files at all um, and then another section of settings for recent files it says never forget old files and so you can toggle that on if you want so then uh, the next mint will just keep a history going for as long as you've you know been using it and accessing files and things like that Otherwise, it will say number of days to remember old files, and then by default, it's seven days. So, otherwise, it will just remember for a week, and then after the week goes by, it forgets the you know files that were accessed at an older date than that. So, um, by default, is the default uh, behavior. So, um, and then at the bottom here, there's an internet connectivity checkbox. Uh, it's on by default. It says check that network connections can reach the internet. This makes it possible to detect captive portals, but also generates periodic network traffic. I'm not even sure what a captive portal is, to be honest. <laughs> but um, but if you want to change that for some reason, if you you know you don't feel comfortable having it uh, generally, uh, uh, occasionally generate periodic network traffic just to check to see if the internet connection is active you can turn that off here as well um, so the screensaver is the next section and what the screensaver is talking about is when your uh, computer goes idle um, for, for a little bit it will display this um, so by default it says display or delay sorry delay before starting the screensaver and by default it's 15 minutes so if you leave your Linux Mint computer idle without touching the mouse or the keyboard or anything for 15 minutes it will uh, basically kick back out to the screensaver and um, and then it uh, will require your password to log back in um, from the screensaver. It's just a security feature and it's also good for your monitor to not be displaying a static image the whole time, um, things like that. So uh, it says for lock settings related to it, by default it locks the computer when it's put to sleep or it locks the computer after the screensaver starts. Uh, both of those are on by default and the delay before locking is lock immediately. Um, so that means as soon as the screensaver starts, it locks the computer, or as soon as you use the sleep or hibernate functions, it locks the computer. Um, otherwise, you can change it to a delay, like, oh, wait 30 seconds before locking, just in case, you know, you accidentally, uh, you know, maybe the, the screensaver accidentally triggered and you're like, oh, I want to hurry up and, you know, uh, get back in there before... You know it locks me out and I have to log in again then you can set like a you know a short delay or whatever uh, up to an hour is the longest they'll let you delay which to me that seems kind of crazy setting it for an hour but <laughs> um, but I just usually leave it at lock immediately myself but you can play around with it if you want like a little bit of you know uh, leeway there like maybe 30 seconds or 15 seconds to I could see that being pretty reasonable like oh I really didn't want the you know computer to go to sleep right now or to you know pull to open the screensaver I just happen to be you know distracted with something else and let me quickly you know like if you just happen to catch it right when it triggers the screensaver you can just go oh wait let me move the mouse and then uh, you know uh, you wouldn't have to uh, log back in with your uh, password or whatever to, uh, you know, if you caught it in time so um, but that's you know that's, that's just personal preference settings you can you can uh, modify that all you'd like and then there's a customized uh, tab over here 
so you can customize the date and time so this is customizing what the screensaver itself uh, looks like and does and it says always show the clock so it will show the clock um, and then it says use a custom date and time format um, if you wanted to change it you could I usually just leave it at the default myself but you can do that and then it says uh, the the size of the font for the time being displayed and the date as well um, they both have separate settings for what font you want it to use and the size that you want it to use uh, 64 is pretty large size it does appear uh, pretty large and then it will gradually just um, you know move around the screen so that your uh, you know your monitor has something moving on it which is better for you know monitors to, rather than just displaying a static image for long periods of time so um, so you can change those if you want to um, you can have it show an away message to show this message when the screen is locked. So um, if you want to type, this is the default message displayed on your lock screen. So uh, when you're on the screensaver or whatever, you can have it show a message if you'd like. I've never done that personally, but you can um, set one there if you'd like. Uh, and again, you can change the font style and the font size of your message. And it says, ask for a custom message when locking the screen from the menu. Um, so, so this option allows you to type a message each time you lock the screen from the menu. So if you wanted to, rather than just set a single message that displays every single time, if you wanted to change that message uh, dynamically whenever you go to lock it, you could uh, use this feature and it will prompt you um, for your message when you go to you know, uh, have the screensaver show up or, or whatever. Um, could be useful if you need to like leave notes for yourself like oh, I left off here or something or whatever uh, maybe if you want to leave funny messages for anyone that walks by your computer to see while you're you know in the other room or something you could do that <laughs> uh, you know there's uh, you know some potential applications there for, for that sort of a feature um, and then just general settings for the uh, screensaver and says you, uh, whether or not you want to allow keyboard shortcuts when it's there um, whether or not you want to show media player controls or album art um, so that will be if you are happen to be playing like music or a video or something uh, when your screensaver activates um, it will show you controls for that so even from your screensaver you could say for example uh, pause some music that was in progress playing on your computer or uh, you know skip tracks or, or whatever um, and whether or not you want to show album art for it so if you're listening to music and whether or not you want to show the, the album art that you have even from the lock screen it, it will do that um, if you have that selected by default it's on so um, and same with the info panel if there's something to show for that let me see if it gives it to show the number of missed notifications and the battery status so uh, that kind of information will be displayed for you on the info panel um, so at the bottom here it says allow floating clock and album art widgets uh, so what that does at the final setting it says when the default screensaver is active allows the clock and album art widgets to float around randomly so uh, that's the default behavior and i would recommend personally uh, just leaving that on so that uh, there is something you know again moving on your screen instead of a static image it's better for the life of the monitor um, just in general so you don't get you know uh, issues with you know burnt pixels or whatever especially if you leave it on for a long time but um, but that's a whole other <laughs> scenario that I won't go into right now but um, if you do not like that behavior and you want the clock to just stay put and just you know not move around then you can check that off but by default these are all on there for you so if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more you can find my books at books to read.com slash Jonathan. That's books, the number two, read.com slash J O N A T H A N.